Adelaide remain a game clear of Central Coast at the top. Perth is in third despite its loss to the Jets. Melbourne fourth and despite losing to the Hart. Wellington remains in the top six. In the bottom half, Gold Coast, Newcastle and North Queensland are on six points and Sydney have the bye. Good to see our friend uh, Johnny Aloisi mm. get on the board at last. Oh, very good. I thought um, he was a difference making that. And also, Josip Skoko coming back into the team, I thought he made. Uh, he's an experienced player. Both of them have. They've played together in the national team quite often. Um, this is a good finish. It looks like a tap in, but he really had the stretch there, and that could have easily gone, gone wide. But uh, he makes a big difference coming into his side. Spade, what are your impressions of the heart so far? I like the heart. I, I like the whole setup. I like the. The players, the way they're trying to play, I mean, things just haven't gone their way at the moment, but they're starting to get results. Now, don't forget, that there was a complete new team. Like, what about that miss from Johnny A then? He could have had two. I lucky tell you lucky he scored before that. I tell <laughs> you what, it's a grand final between that and uh, Van Dyke's, <laughs> uh, the worst miss. It's a close one. Yeah. And uh, the table shows Sydney adrift at the bottom, uh, but they've got some key players coming back now. And they need them back because, uh, to be honest, they are struggling at the moment. And uh, to, to be missing the likes of Terry McFlynn, Alex Bryce, Nicky Carl, uh, they, don't, they don't have the depth in that squad spides to, to, to complement that or to, to combat th those guys Everyone being out. Everyone keeps saying Sydney's struggling, struggling, struggling. I've been watching Sydney play. I don't think they've been doing that bad. And considering they're missing their key players, mm. to be getting these players back, look, I think this is a perfect time. Whoever likes to have a punt, is now the time to get on Sydney because once they go on a little winning streak, they'll be too short after that. You've been talking to your mate Tony Popovich, haven't you? I'll get the inside information. Yeah. Now, but the thing about Sydney, while they're on the bottom, yeah. it's, you know, a couple of wins and uh, it is the top six and, and they're right back in the hunt. I still think yeah. they're the best team in the A-League. Best squad in the A-League. Them and Melbourne victory. Now I might be biased here. Uh, with what I've seen in the A-League, and I'm... I think the A-League, the standard is a lot better, but I still think they're the benchmark. Sydney FC and Melbourne victory. Well, one team that's made a great start to the season is Brisbane, and we're joined by their raw captain, Matt Mackay. Matt, thanks for your time. Pleasure. It's been a great start for the raw this season, considering some of your performances last year. It has been. It's, uh, we've had a very long pre-season, and we've worked very hard, and um, you know a lot of new players come in, and we've gelled well, and... Uh, starting to reap the rewards, but there's a long way to go, and we we know we've had a, a probably a, a bad result in Melbourne uh, a couple of weeks ago, and we're we're improving from that, and hopefully we can move on. The manager came under pressure a bit with the amount of players who left the club, but it seems to be working okay so far. Yeah, I mean, all, you know, a lot of big players left, and the guys that have come in are, are hungry, and and they've shown that in the first uh, six games of the season. So it's uh, positive signs, but there's a long way to go. And another good result, getting a point out of Adelaide and uh, stopping their goal-scoring spree. Yeah, it was a bit disappointing. We started off fairly slow in that game and in the second half we ran over the top of them and I'm pretty sure they were happy to get the point out of it. So, um, you know, everyone coming to Suncorp now know that they're going to have to work hard to get three points off us or any points off us. So we keep that up um, and keep the fortress at Suncorp. We'll do well this season. And what about Sergio's miss on Saturday night? Any sympathy for your former teammate? <laughs> No sympathy. Uh, uh, he's, a, he's a great guy. He's, um, he's, he's missed up here. Um, we love him and um, disappointed to see him miss, but glad that um, he still looks after the Raw boys. Did you uh, speak to him after the game at all? I did speak to him and told him thank you for the miss. Um, <laughs> you know, he's, 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 he said he's missing Brisbane. Uh, he, he loved the lifestyle up here. and um, Obviously, Adelaide's um, been a good move, though, with the, with the start to the season they've had as well. How much of a blow is Enrique's injury and, and do you know when he's likely to come back? It's a, it's a massive blow, he, uh, the poor lad. He, he's had such a good start to the year and he's been working very hard. The goals haven't come for him yet, but they're definitely on the way. And um, It's a pretty bad break. Uh, it looks like probably uh, three months, uh, up to three months. So um, the poor little fellow, he's um, laying up on the couch now, probably playing his PS3. So he's, he's got a lot of, um, lot of work to do before he's back. Matty Spider here, mate. Uh, you did say before you're playing good football, but it seems to me you're, you're lacking a leader. How big of a miss is someone like Craig Moore out of the dressing room? Yeah, we're missing a lot of boys. Um, all the, the senior players that left last year, you know, you, um, there's, a, there's half a dozen of them. You know, Joshua McLoggan, um, Reddy, um, Tiado, Moore, Miller. Uh, they're, they're big players and they're, they're sorely missed, but the opportunity for other people to come into the side and, 
and bring their own um, you know, character and leadership qualities has been great and a few of the boys have been coming out of their shell. Matt, we'll get you to stay with us. As we mentioned earlier, former Socceroo skipper Craig Moore is still awaiting a hearing after being arrested in Dubai. Local newspaper reports allege an altercation with police happened after they were called to a row over a taxi fare on Wednesday night. Moore was freed on bail on Friday as an, and is waiting a court appearance. Dubai Public Prosecution Service says it's not known when that will be. And Spider, I believe you've just spoken with uh, with Craig Moore. How's he feeling? Yeah, no, he's relieved to be out of prison, that's for sure. <laughs> um, but he's hoping that everything will get resolved tomorrow. Obviously, seeing it in all the media and that, it says, Moore, he said it makes him look bad, but it wasn't as bad as that. It was probably taken overboard, but he's hoping that tomorrow it'll all be cleared up. Matty, uh, you're a teammate of Craig's in Brisbane. What's the reaction been at the Raw this week? Yeah, people are in a bit of shock. Obviously, there's a bit of, um, obviously, you know, the media reports come out that they're not true and a lot of things. So um, we waited for the full details and I just hope to see Maury all right and his family and like, he can get back to Australia as safe as possible. Matty, a spider again. I asked you the question before about Craig Moore, but you seemed to sidestep me there. You used a bit of Brad <laughs> Fittler sidestep. So what you're telling me that you aren't missing Craig Moore in the dressing room? Because I did say to you that you don't look like you have any leaders. Um, oh, we are missing Craig Moore, you're right, um, but in saying that, there's, you know, players like myself, Shane Stefanudo, we've had a lot of experience, um, you know, in Australia and um, obviously Stefo and a few other boys overseas, but you can't, you ca you're right, you can't get the ilk of the Moors that have been there and, you know, two World Cups and stuff like that, so um, they're hard players to find, mate. You, t you tell me if we can get another Craig Moore into the club, we'll, we'll be happy to have him. Matty, uh, it's really here, mate. You've been in the A-League since the start. How have you seen it progressing uh, year to year? Do you think it's got a lot better, the standard? It has, it has. It's very competitive now and, um, you know, obviously more and more of the imports they bring in are becoming more quality. Um, and then obviously the, the younger players are getting better. So it's, it's great. You, you know yourself from the start and um, how much it's come along from there is, is impressive. So there's still a long way to go. There's, there's not always pretty games every week and, um, you know, there's a lot of improvement, but um, the, the signs are there. Matt, thanks for joining us here on World Football News and good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks very much, guys.